All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, some differences in height and reach. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 264 pounds. Chico! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong, the Apex! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch left, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle with two great stand-up fighters. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Ooh, what a punch. Single collar tie now. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Connects with a right. Blocks the shot. Just out of the range with that right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, spinning practice. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Again, they will clinch. 
straight right. He misses. Good punch. Slips the punch. Right hand. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Left hand punch with the clinch. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagement from this 50-50 position? Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice one-two there. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Blocks the shot. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Right hand punches the clinch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch. Get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest. A position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's going to be the one? to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage. Blocks the strike. Single collar tie. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. Great punch. Right hand punch from the clinch. Just misses with the straight right. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Able to check the high kick. He throws the right hand there. Just missing on that uppercut offering. Your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. That's a big strike right there. Punch coming, it's blocked. Right on the button. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Wild swing there. Well, what a round it was. Daniel Cormier, you are one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off. And my foot would be slippery, <laughs> wet or something. I would fall right into a knee. No, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Just missed on the front kick there. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything. Big kick lands. 
Oh, uppercut counter. That'll leave a mark. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there. It might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off the yeah. center line. He was landing one before. Now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat mouse. You got to play cat mouse. Hit and don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Nice punch land. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that it comes. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Beautiful punch. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Good stick. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, nice. Oh, collar tie. Nice strike. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Lot of different looks. He switches to southpaw now. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Tags him with the left. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Right hand on point. Nice punch land on the top. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job. Oh! That was crazy. oh, he might be out. What a fight so far. So the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes 
on his offensive approach as the next round starts. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight at this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we start. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Straight right hand, no good. All right, single collar tie now. Great punch, Lance. Oh! So much power. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Mercifully, winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 59 seconds of the third round. Going the winner there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.